It's the Marshall Mather show starring Who Kid and Lord Sear. <laughs> so These ready? are my special guests here today. On Chief thank 45. you, thank you very much, man. Shout out your special guests. Yeah. Oh, we also have Mr. Porter in the studio right hey, now. Porter. And we have those. the notorious alchemist. Hey, hey, hey. The notorious doing? the alchemist. He's the the notorious like, the alchemist. He's looking like a thug Woody Allen right now. <laughs> many, many looks I come with. You look looking cool. Various looks. Your adopted, your adoptive daughters. Uh, who else is in here? Shit. Uh, it's me, Paul. The boss. Hi, Paul. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, Paul's here too. That's the boss. Oh, Hold on, wait. How are we gonna make this shit interesting? I'll leave. I'm gonna get naked. All right. Oh, shit. Now that's not how to make it interesting. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. That's not how to make it interesting. I'm just saying I'm gonna get naked until we figure out something interesting to do. Well, you're, going, you're, you're going to SNL later. You want to be naked all day before you go to SNL? Uh oh. No, he was just naked at SNL. <laughs> For he what? Just, he put no, no, no. Clothes on to walk no, I had the clothes on, and then I walked naked. We did. We up did the walk street. here. Yeah, we, just we walked, walked here. naked. Uh, we walked here from rehearsal. I wasn't all the way naked, just no pants. <laughs> Because God the pants damn. that I had on were not very comfortable, so <laughs> threw everyone And off. the crazy part is no one recognized me, and that's probably why. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, nobody said shit while he was walking around with no pants. Like, Wild. It's a new disguise. Wild. But put clothes on him, it's over. We, my just, saw, we just saw Who Kid in London. Yes, my new disguise. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a nudist guy. It's my new disguise. Where you say you was coming from? Uh, where was I coming from? I was coming from New York, uh, JFK. Yeah, it was very normal. We just did the EMAs and we saw Who Kid in London, remember? And you guys, no. we did. Right. Oh, wait, you left right before he got there. Yeah, I got you. I did. Down. You, you, just, you, said, like, oh, hey, you said Who Kid's going to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's who Kid, oh. Hey. Yeah. You said Who Kid's coming. I said, all right. I'm I mean, right. I, heard the revi- I heard the revival album was being played in there and then I, you guys got him out of there. What is that? Nah, high what, exclusives. Is that? <laughs> oh, what is that? What? Oh, wow. Revival album? What is that? It's the album that Who Kids got, and he just put it out today. <laughs> oh, right. the mixed album. I, I wouldn't be here is. if I did put that out. But by the way, I don't know. There's no. I mean, there's no album I'm aware of. <laughs> you guys got me. What out of album there. are you referring to, sir? The 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 cool album that's supposed to come out soon. The cool you're album. You talking about the commercials about the? You mean you? Oh, you got an album coming out, drug? Who Kid? Oh, well, me? No. Nah. Nah. Ask about revival. <laughs> oh. Oh. All the information you need. How did you connect with Beyonce to get this record? Uh, why Beyonce? You, I mean, you, I'm sure you could, you know. First of all, Beyonce is amazing. Yes. And it's been on my wish list for a long time, but I never really had a song that I felt like would be right to present to her. So oh, I was kind of okay. waiting. And then me and Paul kicked the idea around after I finished it, you know, and based off what it was about, I felt like she probably could relate to this too. Yeah. Oh, okay. The sentiment. Of the, the sentiment. Yeah. Just because, you know, Beyonce is always, everything she does is so perfect. Oh. But the pressures behind that to for her to do it so perfect, you know, I felt like she could probably relate to that. Because I, I, I told her, I said, I never, I'd never seen you make a mistake before, ever. <laughs> like, wh- like performance-wise, everything. Every song she every song she puts out, every album, it's so calculated and Strategic, precise and yeah. everything's always so perfect. Yeah. You know? I'm fucking up right now. <laughs> We're fucking up just by being here. Yeah. No, yeah. The upgrade at Eminem, like years and years of looking at your career and are are you do you give a fuck what fans think of how you were before? Is is this a reality check for you with, with the new Eminem? With the there's, music you there's got There's a new Eminem. Is there? This, this is like the new Eminem. Hey, nah, it's nice not. to meet you, new Eminem. <laughs> sometimes, like, sometimes, like, like, I put out a song like "Not Afraid," and everybody would be like, "Oh, he's turning over a new leaf. Oh, he's, yeah. he's a brand new person. Fuck that." Mm-hmm. The exact same. Uh, same. Same. That's probably a problem. Yeah. I'm the exact same. You know how like who kids sometimes you go home and you like get get real serious and you say something halfway intelligent mm-hmm. and people are like, "Oh, who kid might be halfway intelligent." <laughs> <laughs> and then it's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reason I brought it yeah, up, yeah, because because, because a lot, look, a no. lot of times when I start saying something that's like really serious, then people think that I've completely did a one eighty. Yeah, and that's not true. Mm. I'm actually probably worse than I've ever been right now at this moment. Oh wow! Yeah, you can smell it, right? I brought, I brought, I bring, I bring it up because a, a lot of like fans they call up. No, here. no, no, that's valid. Of course, they're yeah. like, oh, maybe he's turning over a new leaf. Thank I mean, you. if there is an album, when it when it might come out, they mm. can just check it out and and see for themselves, I guess. 
Mm. If there's an album. Louis yes. Special? Yeah. The Louis Special. Hi, guys. We have the cool people here. Is that mean I'm aware of all the other songs that's out there? All the, the, he the, is. The way, the way hip-hop is going, all the weirdness? He is. He is. And he, he listens. He listens. Okay. He does. Um, <laughs> what does he think? <laughs> yeah, thank you. There's some stuff. There's a lot of stuff that he really likes and thinks it's really, really good. And I got to ask him again because <laughs> I wasn't clear on, like, the... the or right, ask him real quick. Yo. The fuck you think about this shit? Yeah, what what do you think about hip hop right now? Hip hop's good. I like hip hop. Okay, mm. cool. Yeah, he said. <laughs> wow, that was a. Good he said hip hop is good. He sounds good. like him. He likes hip hop. No, it's great. I love the way I I love to see you know, watching how some of us were able to watch hip hop in its infancy stages, mm. and watch it grow, you know, and go from Run DMC to LL to. Beastie Boys to Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, Rakim, just all the transformations that it's gone through and to, to, to come to this day and age right now and the sound and the way people are playing with flows and, and shit like that, I, I can certainly appreciate it. And, you know, I listen to, I try to stay up on everything that's out. But it, the word is appreciation. Like, they created who you are, but the, the music now is not creating anybody in the future. What do you no. think, sir? I mean... I don't know. You I don't know. I don't know where it's going to land. Okay. But I think you got to remember like you can't put yourself in a 20-year-old's body yeah. when you're not 20. So some of the things that they do you might not understand, but I understand the energy behind it. They don't really they don't give a fuck. Mm. We was at that point too and nobody understood our music at that time. There somewhere there's kids listening to people like Kendrick Lamar mm. and J Cole and Chance the Rapper yes. who are going to be influenced by great music and come out and be great. Don't worry. Mm. It'll happen. Do not cry. It always, it always definitely comes around. But when they, when they having fun, like partying and all that shit, like that's what they do. That's what they want to talk about. Pills and all. We did the same. It's shit. always been there. Yeah, right. it's we did the same there. shit. It's like, but then you grow. Yeah, some of it's good and some of it's not. It's some of it is really been. bad. There's always <laughs> been good and been bad in any era. If it's whack, it's whack. If it's good, it's good. Yeah. Is there gonna be any party music on the album? Like partying and rocking and going crazy. It, the whole album is a nonstop party. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's from beginning mm. to end. It's just wow. wait, an album? Fucking nonstop. It's a, wait, it's a, what album? It's a pants party. This, this, oh, this so called oh, album. What? It's a pants party. This so called album that Who Kid just released today. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's the name of it? <laughs> Dance, Dance Party. Dance. Dance Party Pants USA. Party. Dance USA. Dance How do you Pants. do it? How do you do it, Who Kid? <laughs> like, I, like, sometimes. He reaches it's into your soul. He hacks into your Soul. Yeah, it's like sometimes there's a song out, and I'm like, oh. I haven't even made that song yet. <laughs> How is it out? And it's on a mixtape. Right, and it's on a mixtape. Well, How I, does it feel to have that kind of, like, <laughs> reputation? <laughs> well, like, I, do, people, do people let you in the studio? What? We, in the back of the day, I, they would call that a pickpocket. I mean, I just, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can release the secrets of how I get it. You want me to release a secret? I want to know. I know what you do. I hang with Rick Rubin. Ooh. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. What? All right. All right. Revealing your sources. That's how you got... You know how I know that's not true? Because <laughs> <laughs> Rick Rubin would never hang out with you. <laughs> never. <laughs> what are you talking Damn. about? Damn. Because you steal music, man. You and Rick Rubin, man. How's the relationship? Has it grown to some Let's kind make sure of... Rick never lets Who Kid in the studio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, his, his reputation precedes him, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the hidden meetings with Rick Rubin, uh, what, what's going on with that? The hidden album? meetings. Rick is really good at... Um, Rick is really good at bringing things out of out of me. I'm not sure how that sounded. Uh, yo. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Zip up not so pants. good at putting yeah. them in. Hey. But, oh. Hey. But bringing them out, he's really good at it. Hey. Yeah. Or there's smoke. There's fire. fire. <laughs> me and Rick got a good relationship. It's it's definitely you know starting develop starting to develop into a friendship. Yeah. And um, I love working with him. You know, it's um it's it's a relaxed environment. It's cool. It's like Rick doesn't he's he's really good at like if I have an idea he's good at guiding you know like or if I if I if I write something lay it bring it over to his studio cuz he you know we have like two rooms going I'll bring it over to his studio he'll listen to it and tell me his honest opinion which sometimes is not always what I want to hear oh, but wow. it's the same shit with Paul like Paul always Paul never tells me what I want to hear <laughs> ever damn 
Like, even when he says, hey, what up? Like, first time I see him today, hey, what up? Look yeah. at Paul. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the and last, I'm like, that, that's hey, not what, what I want to hear. <laughs> hey, what up? I don't want to hear that. What do you want to hear? Damn. That actually, that's probably about the only time he says what I want to hear. But like you should, you should trust Paul because Paul's aware of what's going on. I do, and that's what sucks about it. Because <laughs> um, think about me though. I'm most the of guy, the time he's right, and that fucking irritates the fuck out of me. I'm later. the guy that's got to tell him things he doesn't want to hear, and then I'm also telling. People on the business side, stuff they don't want to hear because the, the general answer is no. Okay. Right? We're not going to do that. So, what about me? <laughs> I mean, I tell him what he don't want to hear a lot of times. You're the bad guy. <laughs> but Fuck he just I'll be the bad guy. You deliver the care. bad news. It just right. don't matter. All right, I'm the bad guy. No, yeah, it's just worse when you say it. Okay, say, say goodbye hi. to the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> say goodbye, everybody. Love Hold on. The bad guy. I can totally, I can totally not agree with it. Paul don't agree is upset. My manager's always got bad news. We call him the Paul Bearer. <laughs> Write it down. That's you. Yo, I'm going to use that. Pretend you didn't hear it. I'm going to use it in a song. <laughs> On a serious note. <laughs> yes. I'm a small terror. My manager's always got bad news. We call him the Paul Bearer. Good. That that's, voice. That's, I'm that's, not an all carer. That's the voice. That that's, means I don't yeah. care. What? That's Eminem imitating Eminem. Eminem. From that's 15 Eminem. years ago. That's wow. Marshall imitating Eminem imitating Slim Shady. <laughs> From a way, way back. And Inception. I really love it when people go, hey, you know, <laughs> Slim Shady, Eminem, and Marshall, like, they're really different. Like, which one are you on this album? It's and a like, dumb question you, at this point. Yeah, it's just, it's like, all right. Well, guys, introduce yourselves. Guys. Hey, how you doing? My name is Denon, a.k.a. Mr. Porter, a.k.a. your father. Hey, yo, this is Marshall, <laughs> bitch. I'm saying Hey, I'm talking to you, girl. Yo, it's Marshall. Boom, 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 this is boom, Alchemist, boom, boom. and I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Hey, don't try to make your voice all sexy like I'm trying to make mine, player. <laughs> this is Paul Rosenberg, and I'm leaving. <laughs> Shit. This you who? just got here, Paul. Can we get the clone rumors out the way? You're not a clone. Like, you know, that's huh? I am. Yes. Oh, clone. What do you mean? It's like clone is that a real rumors rumor? about MSN. Really? So who is yeah. this? Who are Let's you? Let's keep those going. <laughs> <laughs> who is he? Yes, this is who Marshall O two three four dot six. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, if you look behind rumors? his ear, it's a number back there. Oh has he got a number behind ears. his ear. Yeah. So On the if you look at photos, I speak in a hypertone and I'm like a clone. <laughs> if you you're look, like a dick because you might get blown. Come on, stop. I, what the fuck? I, what the fuck? What just happened? If you look at <laughs> photos and you mental find mental breakdown, mental breakdown, mental breakdown, a difference in ears size, <laughs> you might be able to see the difference between 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, and 0. 0.7. Shit, and that's it. over the course of five or six years. Very subtle. Whoa. Right. What are we talking about? <laughs> How to tell the difference between a Marshall Mathers clones. Never Marcus tell a clone Scott. that they're a clone. Yes. See, that's the thing, because crazy people don't know they're crazy. Mm. So the never... Clones and a clone don't know they're don't clones. Know they exactly. clones. Right. Exactly. Right? So we're going to keep it that way. Yep. Clone. Next ooh, question. Ooh, ooh. Final question. Hey, we'll suck my robot dick. <laughs> Lord Seer with a tore ear. I need more beer. You're here. I'm there. Ooh. Hi there. Hi. I oh. wear... Are we here? No eyewear. <laughs> Final question on Rick Rubin. <laughs> how much did he work? Uh, how much percentage did he work on whatever project that's about to come out or make out? Twenty six point seven eight seven percent. That was because accurate. What the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, because we had to break oh, that shit down fuck? once we had the whole album. It's all math, ladies baby. and the gentlemen. All math. What the, the rumored f- album? How much? How much mu- of the album did did Rick uh, work on? Um, I think there's like, let me see. He worked on a lot of the album as far as like. Uh, executive producer, right? Executive right. producing, like Boom. overseeing some things. Wait, what album? Uh, well, yeah, there's an uh, album. Yeah. It's Who Kid's album? I thought we were talking about the last album. No, the next, the, the ninth LP the, part, the ninth, uh, whatever you call it, the eighth or ninth album. How that much is he gonna work on the next album? How much did he work on? Well, yeah. Nah, he did. Um, let me see. I think there's like three songs that hey. he did the beat for. No, four. And uh, you know, also. Listening to what I have and telling me what he thinks the best songs are and where the placement of them and, and shit like that. He's really good at that too. Is uh, but the, the next album is produced by Yanni. What? Oh, wow. Yep. That's that's so like I feel that's like, kind of ill. I feel like having hummus for some reason. That sounds like a budget right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni is fire. Please, oh, Yanni. Wow. I am <laughs> walking out. Bro, so good. Said, Thought you'd never say to. that. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. All right. Uh, but, but All right. Come on in. The other percentage is uh, rumored. 
Dr. Dre. Is Dr. Dre back in the picture? Is Dr. Dre still your homie? Is Dr. Dre still, well forever your homie? But is Dr. Dre somewhere in this album coming out in the future? Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. All right, Marshall. Nah, he uh, he mixed a few records. That's um, what I want to hear. Fresh. Yeah. All right. And you know, I played him. There is no album. Okay. And there you, is no album. You're, you're talking about things that don't I thought exist. you were leaving. <laughs> I had to come back. <laughs> he walked in. I had to fuck, come back. Man, it's it. like it's, it's like my dad, and then when he leaves, like fuck shit up, <laughs> fuck it all up, and then you come back. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, you gotta stop. Censor, censor. I'm censoring you. Oh. <laughs> can, we get, can, we, can we get a final conclu- uh, conclusion on that, or are we good? Yeah, yeah. it's always so, the same between t- me and Dre. He hates me. I hate him. You okay. Know? Skylar Gray, I respect her. She wrote. Um, <laughs> Nah, she's the, great. The Beyonce single. She wrote the, the whole song. She's right? great. She writes a lot of stuff, yeah. man. There's a lot of hits on the radio right now that she is responsible for. Wow. She's incredible. She's one of the most amazing writers. Um, I would say, I, I mean, she's got to be top. Jesus. Five. She's incredible. Writers. She's like a secret weapon. W- when it comes to songs, like song format. Yeah. Because yeah. she can't battle me. I mean, that. Oh. Right, no. She got flows, though. What? I, she does. She does. She I heard a rhyme on you. Uh, yeah. What? She rhymed on she him? She rhymed on him. She, she rhymed on you. She pulled out her, her, her rhyme on me. You. She pulled out her rap gun hey. and rhymed uh, on him. Rhyme all over you. <laughs> What's going on in there? <laughs> Skylar Gray, bars. <laughs> baby, yeah, baby, yeah, back, baby back, baby back, baby back. They don't want my baby. Can I, can I get a hand clap from everybody again for the 15-year anniversary of 8 Mile? Yes. Yes. 15 fucking years. Yes, yes. You know it's been 15, right? You know that, right? Yeah, but that was more than one clap. <laughs> Should we do more? So maybe we got the years mixed up, too. <laughs> wow, man. BT, Rap City, the cypher. Like, the it cypher. was the cypher. Well, the combination of the cypher, you're back <laughs> on stage and all the festivals. How does it feel to be like back to, like in, in the mix of working? Like, How does that feel? Terrible. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking Collecting horrible. millions of dollars. I am? Paul? Paul? <laughs> He's texting uh, someone. Uh, nah. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> nah, he bought me a fucking color book and some crayons, and let's hear, here's your bonus. <laughs> I didn't color in them. I don't color still. I'm just saying, that's what he got me. <laughs> Cypher, were you extremely angry? I, I was I and it. am still straight, extremely angry. Yes. And I can't stand that motherfucker, and I feel like, I feel like he's not paying attention to me. Okay. And... I was kind of waiting for him to say something. Like his Twitter fingers, yeah. Yeah, and for some reason, he didn't say anything. He ain't want no to smoke. To be continued. To yeah. be continued. He ain't want no smoke. No CIA letters to the office, Paul? <laughs> Coming up on a next special episode <laughs> on Shade 45. <laughs> oh, my God. You've always, you, you've always been a man of the people. Uh, rap kind of, like, puts you in that position. Uh, what's the upgrade? You got to be, like, into the politics? I mean... Governor Mathers. I'm, yeah, I might run for president. Can you imagine, like, he's the governor of Detroit? Man, that, that would be crazy. I mean, you did bring money. Can't be the governor the of Detroit. Could okay. be the mayor Can't of Detroit, be maybe. The governor. If I was the mayor of any city, it would go to shit worse than my fucking entire career. Oh, my God. You think shit went to shit there? <laughs> it would fucking. It's done. Hey, I just want to put it out there to everybody that's listening. It's all grown men in here. <laughs> We're all grown-ass men. I no, like seriously. Well seriously. into adulthood. Yeah. We are grown-ass men. And to the kids that aren't grown yet, it's a trick. Don't do it. The, what's the question? Does he want to go into the politics? Do you, you want to go into politics? In the future, like in another 10 years. Shit. Yeah, because, you know, I got a really good educational background, <laughs> and I'm, like, super smart at, like, what? everything. That's cool. Fuck. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm like a fucking yeah. wizard when it comes to technology. <laughs> foreign policy. Mm-hmm. Foreign po- technology, stuff. foreign yeah, policy. Stuff. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, Astrology. Woo. I make yep. no apology. We got that. Woo. We got We got that. <laughs> and we're back with Eminem. Lost yes. Special. Yeah. The Lost Year Special. Hi, guys. We have the cool people here. The last question, body. <laughs> Bodied the movie. Yes, the freestyle yeah. movie. Can we talk about that? Please? It's a battle rap. It's a battle rap dark comedy. Okay. Uh-oh. It's very dope. Slash satire. Mm. Super dope. So yeah. it's kind of like um Super dope. Fear of a Black Hat. Not quite as goofy as that, but um yeah, it's it's a comedy and a satire and it's it's just sort of a take on the battle rap scene. Um and it, and it's like a fish out of water story too, because uh the kid who was it was the main character in the movie, uh Adam 
um, he is a you know he's a journalist, yeah, and he becomes sort of brought into the hip hop scene as a battler, unintentionally, and mm-hmm. the stories about his journey. Um, you want to tell him the ending? Rapper. Tell him the ending too. <laughs> I was giving the plot, <laughs> asshole. Uh, Why well, I gotta be an asshole? I what don't know. clone is this? Who's clone? I don't is know. This? It's every day. I take asshole pills. Revival. Uh-huh. We gotta dial this clone what back. Is- this clone is tripping. www.askaboutrevival.com. No, so seriously, bodied is uh, Joseph Kahn did a great job directing mm. it. Um, you know, it's when incredible. is it out? It premiered at the uh, Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, it'll be out uh, early next year. You know, you do those festivals to find the right distributors for the projects, and it'll be out early next year. Nice. So, so, so we survive. Should we hand clap while, while he's getting out of here? Can I hug him before we leave? You don't oh, ask me. Can he shit. hug you, clone? He's a clone. Wow. I, I can't ask. I got to ask you. Some Daddy. of these clones carry switchblades. Can I use the pr- hey, yo. proper name? Get on your stuck. Own, oh, my God. Get they stuck get by a clone. Hug get me out. Get, get poked, poked too, kid. Bro. Get poked. Can't do nothing for you, man. Yo. Get poked by a clone. Thank you for uh, hanging out with Loris here. We're gonna Hi. we're gonna go plug him into the wall after this. He's gonna clone. Yeah, my batteries. Recharge are him up. He's getting low. Drain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yo, it's the Loris here special. Goodbye.